This video is going to cover T-Drop feature added to the Tray Science version 4. T-Drops are basically some extra copper at the points where traces join pads, wheels or other traces, which gives the connection a drop-like appearance. T-Drops prevent drill breakouts, reduce mechanical and thermal stress during fabrication, resulting in less hairline cracks in the trace, etc. So, adding two drops to the trace connections across the board can significantly lower manufacturing risks. Besides, T drops can be a real benefit when it comes to tight, small, or flex board designs. In deep trays, you can create T drops at all trace connection points of the board at once, but it's also possible to customize T drop settings for individual objects or place T-drops only for thinner traces or smaller through hole pads and rears, where the risk of breakout is higher. Same as with most other features in deep trace, the parameters set with the respective item in the main menu are applied to all the board, while those set with the object submenu are generally used for customization of individual objects or groups of objects. So, if you want to place T-drops at all connection points of a certain type, once you're done with your design, go to Route T-drops. The T-drop setup dialog is very intuitive and it gives you a good control of how T-drops will be implemented. Just tick where you want T-drops to be created and define the parameters as a function of bed size, or through hole pads and wheels, or trace width. The settings can be applied to all or only selected objects. As you can see, Deep Trace has created T drops for all wheels, SMD, and through hole pads. It seems that some pads have been skipped, but in fact, they are the ones that are connected to ground copper pour. Now you can customize T drop settings for individual pads, wheels, or nets using right click submenu to place T-drops exactly how and where you need them. Let's customize T-drops for the pads of this resistor, for example. Right-click and select T-drop. Adjust the settings and then select if to apply them to the current pad only or to the selected object. Note that in the later case, if no objects are selected other than a pad, the settings will be applied to all the pads of the component. You can also use those dialogs to change T-drop settings for several previously selected pads or wheels. Let's undo and see how to create T-drops on the whole one net. You can select the required net directly on the Design Manager panel, right-click, select T-drop item and adjust the settings. Let's change the net color for better visualization and zoom in. T-drop size for SMD pads and T-junctions is set as a function of trace width. So if the trace width changes, so does the size of the T-drop. To undo T-drops, open T-drops dialog Uncheck the required items and apply the changes.